Would you like to see a magic trick? Yeah. Black Phone is a mystery supernatural horror thriller directed by Scott Derrickson. Adapted from a short story of the same name written by Joe Hills, also known as Stephen King's son. The story tells of a serial child murderer referred to as the Grabber who abducted Finney, the young protagonist of the film. Produced by Blumhouse Picture, appropriately it was done on a micro budget. However, the aesthetics were top notch. The film opened up to a rural Colorado small town in the 70s, complete with dusty sandlots, kids on bikes, and a seemingly sunny day every day. I've been totally obsessed with true crime documentaries and there's a weird creepy ambiance when listening to these stories. Black Phone did an excellent job relaying that feel on screen. Ethan Hawks as the grabber was super charismatic. He seemed to have channeled serial killers of the past like John Wayne Gacy and Ted Bundy for this performance. The plot is decent enough, but the performances of all the actors and actresses really heightened the experience. The narrative style was an interesting touch, juxtaposing present and past done in a unique fashion. The environment was strongly reminiscent of Stephen King movies, which makes sense since the original source was written by his son. The film relies a lot on dark corner scares. There were maybe one or two jump scares, but it was a give me instead of gimmick. Meaning it set the stage well and the jump was earned. A minor gripe with the movie was the pacing. It really does come with the territory, I guess, when you're trying to juxtapose different aspects across space and time. Just when the tension was building, it transitioned to a supporting subplot. That's a natural cinematic structure, but when it's so noticeable, it's a problem. Overall, this movie gets 6.5 out of 10 from me. It's a nice little thriller mystery that at times trips on its own laces. Please hurry! Oh, the damn thing. What you hear? What you hear? What you dang? What you dang? What you hear? What you hear? What you hear? What you dang? What you dang? What you hear? What you hear? What you dang? What you hear? What you hear? Right, like my heart's connected to the pants. So the moment that I stop, this the moment that I'm dead in the cabin of my mind. Thoughts exploded in my head, words woven by my flesh. Yes, my emotions and my breath got me swimming in the ocean of my death.